Oh, hey everybody, it's uh, Future Fence here. Um, how about you go check out the challenge I'm doing? The winner gets $50, a uh, gift card of their choice. Okay, I uh, love you. Uh, enjoy the video. And here is my real life truck, my 2002 Mazda B2300 LE. And uh, this this mod body, it's not a mod body, but this body that I had to work with is a little bit different from the real truck, so it kind of looks a bit awkward. And also, uh, the camper top doesn't look even close to what it looks like in real life, but I tried. Also, the tail lights. The real tail is kind of a uh, curve around the side. They're like the same basic shape with the same uh, thing there, but you know, can't do that good, I guess. And everything else, like the stance, the wheels are almost exactly the same. And then, uh, yeah, even the height, I think it's lifted. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe my truck might be lifted a little bit or something's up with it. And uh, I didn't put the mud flaps on. I don't know why. Maybe I should, but uh. One of my mud flaps is actually melted by the by the exhaust pipe. So yeah, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back 
to the main menu, and I'm gonna do this. Cologne car trim. And now this is gonna be the custom version of my truck. That's the whole point of this video. We're gonna make a custom version of my truck to see what we can how cool we can make it. Also, you can see I do use these uh headlights a lot. These are like the best headlights in the game. I use them a lot. Like especially for like the cars I usually build, like 90s, uh, 80s, 90s, uh, 2000s cars. I always use those headlights. Anyways, we are gonna... I'm gonna realistically modify the truck with an amount of money that I can maybe use. First things first, I'm gonna go with the engine. What am I gonna do with the engine? I don't know. What would I do with the engine? I feel like... Okay, so we're gonna do two versions. Um, easier version hard version and then maybe like a super crazy version just for fun so i feel like i would just oh my god where's the damn engine hello where control coal roller oh yeah we don't talk about that uh eat le1 oh my god where are my engines fme lima 2 free here we go use that and not front wheel drive you are not a front wheel drive car and anyways we're gonna I'm, I think we're gonna go with like cast yeah we're gonna stay with cast also we can up this for like this uh, new version of the car nice and then what I'm gonna do this is what I would realistically do in real life I'll just turbo just slap a turbo on it and hope it works so yeah, I'll give it like a performance tune, because that's kind of what I would do in real life. I will just like get a turbo that's already like made for set engine or get a turbo made for set engine and then, you know, upgrade like the fuel system and shit and like the intake and then probably make like a little bit more horsepower. Probably not even that much, but then I'll don't tell the don't tell the police, but I'm taking the catalytic converter off and the mufflers. I already have a, I already have a hole in my, I have a rust hole. I already have a rust hole. Like what? Do you, <laughs> what do you want from me? I already got a rust hole. My truck is so weirdly loud. And it's like not the like the. It's like it's it's so weird because it doesn't sound like, you know, like you hear a loud Civic and you're just like ew gross. But this doesn't sound bad. It just sounds like a loud, louder version of the stock engine. It's so weird. It's like driving with like with the mufflers, but just louder. I don't understand. I mean, I'm not complaining. It sounds really good. Well, good-ish. Good for this truck. Ooh, exhaust. Yes, larger exhaust. Almost a three-inch exhaust. Oh, a three-inch exhaust. Nice. Let's get this turbine up. I want like uh, multiple horsepowers. Yeah, 232, that's literally like double the stock horsepower. And then, uh, we're gonna up the RPM limit to like 5600, nice. And then compression, oh, I can touch it. I do be touching the compression. And other than that, cam profile? There you go, 240. 250, nice. And a lot of uh, nothing, nothing <laughs> turbo. Let's see what it sounds like now. It's probably gonna be ear bleedingly loud. Okay, it's not too loud. Okay, now, realize I kind of don't even want to paint it. In reality, I don't want to paint it. I kind of just like how it is. Oh no, everything's highlighted. Uh huh. There you go. Every ah, it's still highlighted. Uh. Stop highlighting. No, no. Okay, whatever. We're gonna. St what? Why are you hi? Why is it? Stop it. Stop the highlighting. No more. Hold on. When it does this, you just exit out and go back in. I think because it's kind of annoying. It's not like bad, but it's just annoying. Okay. Now, really? Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna, maybe if you pick something, it stops. Oh yeah, oh, there you go. Now for wheels, I'm not sure if I wanna go with like, kind of like a utilitarian American racing type thing, or something like this. 
I mean, I kind of look stupid in this situation. Actually, let's finish doing this. I'm going to keep it a manual, yes. Wheels? We just do sports compound, I guess. But then we're going to go with 16 inch. Which is, I was already looking into this. I want two, uh, two, two fives on the rear. And we got to get some offset going on. You know, you have to have some offset going on. And, uh, fronts, I'll keep them at 200. See, that looks, that looks a lot more meaty and sporty, doesn't it? Nice. And for brakes, I'm definitely going to get better brakes. I don't know how much better. I'm definitely not going to, like, spend money on, like, Brembo brakes or anything, but just slightly better brakes. And I... I think I would get like bucket seats instead of like the standard weird that. And then I'm not gonna mess with any of that because I don't care. And now stuff like this, I feel like I'm just gonna go with like sportier springs. Yes. And then sport. No, it's lower. That looks cool. I wish I can like make the front lower than the back. Actually, maybe I can do that. Actually, I don't know how to do that. I, I'll, I might mess with it. Okay, so there's that part of the truck messed with. So what's the top speed now? 140? Nice. Okay. So, for wheels, like I was saying, I could go with, like, multi-spoke, uh, like, BBS reps. But I'd rather go buy, like, the American Racing, like, Anson wheels. They're pretty cool. Or, like, Wantabies. That doesn't look that good. Actually, I'll have black wheels. Even though people are always like, oh, people with black wheels don't have any taste. They're very uncreative. Hey, they look good, man. Shut up. I think I'll go with something like this. Yeah, yeah, like a wheel like that. That's, that's nice. Or maybe I could go with like TE37s or something. But that'll look stupid. Plus, those are expensive. I like how I just said earlier. Nah, I don't want BBSs. They're too expensive. Then, oh, I should get BBS. I should get a uh, TE37s. No. Yeah, I think that, like, some, maybe something like this, but I'm really more leaning to, uh, ooh, maybe this? This is literally like a BBS rim. Hmm. Kind of visualizing my own build here. I kind of like that more. And also, something very important I want to get rid of. Since, uh, I don't, I won't need to use it anymore as a truck once I ruin it for as a truck so no more camper I, I was messing with building like a super like accurate version but uh okay now it's gone and it looks so much better so the camper in real life looks a lot better than it did right here and uh I'm gonna do that oh I can't I was about to say I'm gonna black out the Mazda logo but I can't just take off the Mazda logo. Oh, nobody knows what kind of car it is anymore. Whoa. Oh, I forgot. We need to have like a different exhaust. Kind of jumping around everywhere. But uh, for like a car like this, I feel like I'd just do like a chrome or maybe not a chrome, but just like a like a stainless steel exhaust. A larger one coming out the same size so we don't have to reroute too much of things. And because it has to be a little bit larger, just like that. Boom. I just I like I just like simple exhausts like that. That's nice. That's nice a lot. Also, I'm not gonna I don't use this in the first place. I don't use the tow hitch in the first place. And other than that, oh yeah, carbon fiber hood. I don't know if they even make those. So I might just have to wrap it. I don't wanna be annoying like that. That's kinda cringe, but I really like the way a carbon fiber hood would look on this truck i mean look at that it just because it's like the black bumper the black wheels and the carbon fiber makes it look good and then also i feel like i would because we're thermocharged uh -huh, i probably would just do this like not get rid of it but make it so you can see the intercooler because i don't want the intercooler down here because I just don't want the intercooler down here. I want the intercooler up here. Because since the radio is like... The radiator is kind of over here on this side. Yeah, you know what you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Wait, do I, can I, do I even have an intercooler? Yes, I do. Perfect. Right there. Yeah, get all that inners cooled. And then, like I was saying... Uh, what, 
I did this build before, but I didn't upload his YouTube video. I was just like doing it for fun. And uh, I put one of these on the hood. Wait, no, I did like a double. Uh oh. What the fuck? Okay, there we go. I did like a double uh, hood scoop thing. I think it was this guy, but like double somehow. I actually don't know how I did that. Like this? Uh, maybe it's just I'm just gonna do the normal one, but it also has to be carbon fiber A lot of people are gonna say this is rice, but I feel like this is kind of nice I think it looks good and then uh Also something that is kind of weird that I want to do I kind of want to do like a roll bar on the back like from here and then down So let's get that going real quick Maybe I should use like the circular, these circular guys right here. I'm gonna use the circular guys. Oh, this is for like making a, uh... oh, what's it called? I don't know what's it called. Um, that is for making a e exhaust stack. Yes, that. How would I not know what an exhaust stack was for a second? I'm dumb. My brain is like ceasing the function. You could probably go check into like a hospital or something and be like, hey yo, my brain not working no more. And they're gonna be like, why? And I'm like, I don't fucking know, it's just not working. And what was I doing? Oh yeah, roll bar. Just like that. And more, more, uh, inwards. Like this. Yes. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. That goes with like the the truck. Hey, why are you floating? I didn't give you permission to float. All right, there we go. Okay, that's too high up now. Now you see my problem with like, why well, I can't decide on what I want the truck to be like now. Because I got problems like that. I'm like, no, it has to be like this, exactly like this. And if it's not like that, I'm gonna be mad. Except I, I don't really get mad about things. I'm just kind of like, oh, that sucks. Oh, well. That's literally how I do things to survive daily life. Um, yes. Grab that. Put it in the 3D mode. Up. There we go. And then up like that. A little bit over. A little bit down. A little bit larger. Huh. Maybe I'll do like something like that. Yeah, I like that. Nice. And then we can move it slightly that way. And angle it slightly up. Like that. And then like that. Eh, maybe it's a little too high as well. And also, I want this... Oh my god. This is why I can't do things. I'm so picky. Come on. A little bit more far forward. Like that. There we go. Now we got just... Bunch of those. Hey. Hey, stop it. Kept unselecting. I've never seen that before. Probably because I was pl clicking that yellow thing. Alright, there we go. Oh, no! That's the one I didn't need. This is the one I did need. There we go. Now that looks a lot better, yes. And then you have to do like the thing that comes from the back from right here. You'll do like the same thing as that. And we just got to turn it this way. Sometimes it's hard to turn things in this game. I don't know why. Don't ask. And then boom. Boom. Tilts it a little bit. That looks like a little too much. 
more downwards. Just like that, I think. Let's see. Okay, no, it needs to be tilt more, uh, more that way. Oh, now it's past. Ah. Okay, right there. Maybe we should do it from the bottom up. There we go. That's like perfect right there. Look at that. And then we can just take this guy. Unmirror him. And then like this. I, don't, I didn't really like, I don't really like how I picked one that has like that weird edge on it. So, uh, then I'm going to change it. I'm going to do like this one instead. Now I want this going across like that from the top from like this corner up here to the other corner. You know, just in case I fucking roll it or something on some track, I guess. I, we don't have any tracks here. So what do we, Uncle Vince? What would you roll it on? Man, these are these are questions we don't ask for reasons. I mean, there are there is like autocross here, but that's about it. Oh, look at that. That's pretty badass. And other than that, I think I would do like a little splitter. You know? A little splitter. Something just like this. You know? Relatively simple. But I feel like I would have to get it custom made. Honestly, because I don't know if they make any custom... Actually, I could just get Ford Ranger parts. Because Rangers... Is... A Ranger is literally like the same truck. It's... Like, honestly, the same truck. Like, there's no difference. Like, even the hubcaps in real life on my truck say Ford. And everything in the engine base says Ford. There we go. There's a turbo version. And now, we gotta do the one last crazy version that I wanna do. Right? So, I'm gonna export this real quick. Wow, look at that truck. Wow. I wouldn't really do anything to the back. I mean, what can you do to the back of a truck? You can't put a wing on it. It'll look kind of stupid if you put a wing on it. Okay. So, uh, also the truck doesn't have as much rust and, like, grossness. Mine does. I really gotta, like, get mine painted or something. But I like the white. Anyways. As you can see by the name up here, this is the custom V8. This is like the situation if I had like an actual garage and like money to spend. So what I think people do a lot is put like a uh, like a 50 from like a why am I keep saying like a a 50 from like an SM95 Mustang, which is a 4.6 liter. I don't know why they call it a 50. And, uh, it's a push rod, isn't it? I, I don't know. I forgot. I feel like it is a push rod. Anyways, we're just gonna make generic V8. So, and just kind of slap it in there. If it can even fit. Pretty sure it does, since, like, the V6 that comes with the V3000 is about... It's a 4 liter, so... It's a 4 liter V6, so... Kind of crazy. And then we're gonna go cast, cast, cast. And also, I like V8s and naturally aspirated vehicles way more, so... I mean, I could do a carbureted, put in like a fox bodies for your two. Actually, I kind of like that idea. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Two barrel, six pack. Nice. And then we're going to go race tubular since we'll just like spaghetti the headers. Nice. And then no cat, no muffler, no second muffler. Actually, straight, you know, straight pipe. It'll be a straight pipe. So it sounds not bad. 
And we're knocking, that makes sense. This is gonna get like 400 horsepower. 230? That's less than the other one. Wow. Turbo people are gonna watch this part and be like, Turbos are so much better! Come on, give me a second. I haven't dumped a whole like oil reserve worth of fuel into it yet. Okay, now it should be good. Also, cam profile. Yes. It's got to up the compression a lot. Oh. The engine needs to be a 2020. Oh, well, if, if we think about it like that, then it would be an injection, direct injection for cylinder performance. Yes. Even though I think, uh, I think, uh, carburetors sound a lot better, and they do. How will we just, uh, quality spam this so we get the power we want? There's 300, 314, 319, 320, 324, 326, 328, 329. Oh, a lot of compression we can dump into this. Like extreme compression, that's awesome. 341 horsepower. 349 horsepower off the race intake. Look at that. Now nah, we don't need that. Kind of looks dumb in the first place. I mean, who cares if it looks dumb as long as it, like... How about we just, you know, fuck with this a little bit and make only race gas? Three hundred and forty-five horsepower still. Okay. Variable valve timing. Why not? I mean, that really didn't do nothing. Also, it needs to rev higher, it looks like. No! Oh, I thought we were knocking. I was about to be sad. We're gonna go forged internals now. Whoa. Why is it so hard to get like 400 horsepower out of this when usually I can get like a gazillion? More power! More! Straight, straight through. Oh no, it didn't work. How about, how about, hear me out, more compression. Yes! More compression! Ah. Larger engine. Let's just do a larger engine. A 6.1. Nice. Crank dying. How about we do... Billet steel. Lightweight titanium. Lightweight forged. Oh, sorry, I figured just rubbing too high. There we go. 69. We rubbed the 69. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, I was about to say, if we could do more compression, I'll be really happy. Four eighty? Four ninety? Nope, no four ninety. Four ninety eight! Come on, more horsepower. More. We always want more horsepower. 
Oh we, oh, we could probably max out the compression on this. That's going to be crazy. I've never done that before. Oh, we maxed out the compression with extra, like, octane left over. That's crazy. Basically a diesel at this point. Oh, my God. All right, that's, that's enough horsepower, honestly. Let's see what this sounds like. Nice. And now I'll keep all this the same. Except for the fact that I would probably get a different transmission. Because honestly, my transmission wouldn't be able to survive that. I'm going to keep the spacing kind of right here. Yeah. And then it geared. Oh, I forgot to do a, a geared LSD on the last one. Oh, well. And then we're going to do like a... 325 in the back. Okay, that's a little much. That's a little much. Offset. Nice. There we go. And then we definitely need better brakes. Like, a lot better brakes. Since we're going to be going like a million trillion miles an hour in this piece of shit truck. Um... All right, there we go. I'll export this one into this one in the beam as well. Nice. I'll see you guys over in beam. All right, here we are in beam and G with my and the current moment Mazda B twenty three hundred. Actually, it looks kind of it looks a lot better in this than it does in automation. Like the cap, the cap looks a lot better. Anyways, let's start it up and see if it's realistically fast. And also, we only got one of the turbo... That's the turbo version over there. Because if I spawn in the turbo version and the V8, um, kind of crash at the game a little bit. So, um, I have to... We're going to drive that one first and then take out the V8. So, let's see if this is realistically fast. You know what? I think it's realistically fast. It's about as fast as it goes. Hold on. So, when you drive a B2300, you want to keep it around, like, 3,000 RPM. Like, right there. This is where the truck is very happy. Like, if you're just driving normally, you shift out, you shift in the second at, like, 10 miles an hour. Just like that. So, yeah. This is actually realistically fast. And, uh, the thing is... It's not really that fast at all, so it's kind of, uh, kind of boring. We can do the thing that Autovlog did. He went like 60 miles an hour and put it in reverse. Yeah, oh, I flipped it. Nice. Okay, let's just leave this guy over here. Now we gotta do the cool version. You know it's cool because it has an intercooler behind the, the grill. Actually, it looks really good. Like, doesn't this look sick? This looks sick. Okay, let's start it up. Alright, let's go. Oh, I forgot. Oh, no, I forgot to put a locking diff on this. Oh, and the gear, the gearing. Gearing's pretty bad. Okay. Kind of, kind of bouncing a little bit. The bed's bouncing. It's kind of trying to get famous on TikTok by twerking. Definitely faster. A lot faster. Honk it at my other car. Okay, can I hit 150? Yes. Cool. Uh oh. All right. So now I'm gonna go spawn in the V8 version, and this is the one we're actually gonna take to the track. I mean, depending on if it even drives well. Actually, no. Even if it drives like crap, I'm gonna take it to the track anyways. 
All right, here we are. Let's start it up from the from a cold. No, I didn't put two exhaust on. Did I not mess with it at all? It's still got an intercooler. This thing is naturally aspirated. Okay, whatever. Let's go. I did. I did put a locking diff on this one though, or a limited slip diff. Wow, it's really shaking back here. Look at that. We're already going 150. Oh, I forgot. I did put a six speed in this too. 170. 180. Come on. 190. Yes, 190. A 190 in a 2002 Mazda B2300. Nice. Now I'm going to go take it over to the racetrack and I'll be right back. Okay. Here it is. The V8 version of the B2300 at Hirochi Raceway. Let's go. Okay. That start could have been a little bit better. Let's see how it drives. V oh, understeer. Okay. I mean, that makes sense since it's a truck and has like these super wide rear wheels. The brakes are all right, but the understeer is super bad. But I'm not, I don't, I haven't seen any like oversteer yet. Like uh, halfway through the corner, you just get random oversteer. I haven't seen that yet. And the brakes could be a little bit better. Oh, there's the oversteer. Man, that understeer is something. Oh. It's kind of twitchy. I don't understand how. It kind of has a long-ish wheelbase. Oh. What the heck? My, how did my bumper get tore off by a inanimate... Not inanimate. Not inanimate. A fake cone. Those cones don't actually exist. Or, wait, do they? Yeah, they don't. Oh, I just ruined my... I just ruined it. Oh wait, they do exist. What the hell? I just ruined my lap because I wanted to mess with the cones. That was that would have been like a 132 if I didn't mess with the cone. Nice. Anyways, until next time. I'm Uncle Vins. I'll see you guys later. Can I blow my car up? Is that possible? Wait, fun. Boom. Come on, you don't explode, come on.